I don't camouflage. I am Filipina. My family immigrated from the Philippines back in the 80s. Grew up in Jersey City. Moved to New York uh, during the early 80s. I was 13 years old. A major experience and a big change coming from the Philippines. When we first immigrated, the whole idea of like trying to assimilate, to become American. But then your upbringing at home is still very Filipino both feet on both worlds. When I was in my early 20s, I went back to school. I studied weaving. I realized that weaving is really international. It's all cultures, we all do it. I started getting interested in the Philippine weaving and I collect a lot of textiles and really promoting a lot of indigenous Philippine weaving. Circle has always been my favorite. The infinity, there's always a beginning at the end, and there's no ending or beginning, but it's all that circle of life. We are born and we die. We're born again and we die again. Patterns has always been, I think, a continuous exploration for me. Patterns from different indigenous community, patterns from different cultures, but I think there's really a connection with all the patterns and the patterns travel. Like in, in weavings and like um, you see the same motif like in the Philippine textile to the Peruvian textile to the Mexican textile. I think for me seeing nature in the patterns. There's always the plant, there's always the sun, there's always the lizard. That pattern kind of like moves around. Prior to where we are right now, the sun has always been like, everybody looks at the sun. So that sun is interpreted in a pattern from somebody's eyes, and then another person will interpret it, but it's the same sun that they're interpreting. Right now, you know, in our world where we have a lot of technology, we're looking at the sun, but like we are all looking at the same thing, like the phone, we can just see it, it all the same. But back then, they're isolated in different places, so the moon is a different interpretation. That's like the pattern, you know, kind of like moving back then. The llama came about because I was traveling with my friend Eric and we were going to go to the Grand Canyon. I figured well, it would be great to like take something like out of the ordinary and put it in a big, massive like background with nature. But the llama is like, kind of like my pseudo personality. She's like very free. She doesn't really care, but she's also very loving. But the llama is also a representation of like I think of my, you know, weaving, the llama gives the wool. She is like, kind of like trickled from that being her own adventure. <laughs>